finally, Colin Kaepernick has come back to Madden after four long years. That's right. The newest Madden update features Cap. What's up? Fred Bracciani, TSC, your home for NFL news updates, reviews, and everything in between. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'm here to give you guys my thoughts on the latest Madden update. And now while I do have some major criticisms, like a lot of people, of the franchise mode, I will tell you this. I am very happy. I am very encouraged. I am very shocked that EA Sports, of all companies, was ahead of the game when it comes to quarterbacks. Now, right now, I'm looking at my current franchise mode. And since I'm a couple of years in, Colin Kaepernick's not there. That's quite unfortunate, isn't it? But when I quit franchise mode, when I go to create a new franchise right here, so let's use a real life roster, da da da. I'm gonna go here, I'll pick a random team, let's choose the Giants, start playing, and it sims right there. I am gonna go to the free agent section. I am gonna pull up the QBs, and let's see who pops up right here none other than number seven colin kaepernick and you look at some of his stats right here improviser scrambler field general strong arm his overall rating is an 80 it was originally reported that his rating was an 81 it's actually an 80 and yeah look at the stats right there age 32 six years out of nevada to 36-4 you could sign him for one year, $13.5 million. If you look at his other ratings right here, throwing power, 89. Deep accuracy, 81. Medium accuracy, 79. Short accuracy, 86. Awareness, 83. Throw on the run, 89. Play action, 85. Under pressure, 85. Break sack, 88. Secondary attributes, uh, speed, 84. Acceleration, 87. Agility, 88. Carry carrying 66 i would have given him more than that i mean have, have we seen him in the playoffs before with the, with the ball carrying come on man but hey it's all good the overall rating's not bad strength 66 change of direction 82 trucking 46 and stiff arm 61 stamina 77 makes sense he's been out of the league for a while injury 86 yeah he had the shoulder issues okay spin move 71 juke move 79 toughness 84 Colin Kaepernick has a 50 morale, which is not currently impacting his overall traits. Personality leader, scrambling QB style, average sense of pressure, aggressive forcing passes, tight spiral, predictable player, balanced penalty tendency. So yes, you can currently play as Colin Kaepernick, and I am actually going to sign him right now on my franchise. Yes, to confirm. Boom, I have signed Colin Kaepernick for one year, $13.3 million. And he is one of the higher rated QBs right now. Now, some people may say, oh, that rating's too high, blah, blah, blah. Listen, man, I'm just happy he's in the freaking game. He should have never, ever been out of the game to begin with. If you're one of these douchebags that's going to come on here and say, oh, well, he lost his job to Blaine Gabbert. No, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. He had shoulder injuries, and then he came back and got his job and threw 16 touchdowns, had four interceptions on a really craptastic 49ers team. And, well, Chip Kelly didn't last on that team either, so let's keep it real. But let's compare his rating to others. So he is an 80 right here. That may be a little generous, but still. You have Gardner Minshew at 70. I think that's a little too low for him. Actually, I think that's really low for him. Uh, Sam Darnold right now currently 73. Matthew Stafford 83, Aaron Rodgers. I think Aaron Rodgers should have still been close to 99. Teddy Bridgewater, 75. I think that's about right. We'll, we'll see if he can prove himself as a full-time starter. I think he's got the goods. Cam Newton, 78. I would have given Cam an 80, but I understand all the injury history and everything. Derek Carr, 79. Frankly, I think that's a little too generous for Derek Carr. He hasn't looked good in a few years. You have Jared Goff at 76. That's a very Jared Goffian rating. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. He kind of fell off, although that, that contract is absolutely freaking ridiculous. We have Lamar Jackson at 93. I think he should have been at like a 95, but again, I mean, we're really splitting hairs here. He's in the 90 club, so that makes sense. Dwayne Haskins, 70. Alex Smith, Alex Smith 67, I think, is way too low. I mean, yeah, look, the, the broken leg obviously uh, takes him down a notch, but 
man, if we're, if we're judging people by the last time we saw them healthy, uh, I think Alex Smith should definitely be higher than that. Uh, Drew Brees, 93. That makes sense. Jameis Winston, 76. I, I think that's about right. You know, he's always had the raw talent, but, you know, he throws a lot of picks. Obviously, 30 for 30. Russell Wilson, 97. I agree with that. Ben Roethlisberger, 81, so slightly above cap there. Mason Rudolph actually is a, is a 63. I think they took him down a notch because he got hit with the helmet and, and likes to trash talk. Uh, Deshaun Watson, 86. I think he should be higher, personally. You got A.J. McCarron. Remember him? Ryan Tannehill, 80. I think that's about right. It could be a little too generous. We'll find out this season if he can replicate his performance or, or do better. Kirk Cousins, 82, coming off of his best season last year. Again, we'll see if we can replicate that. And then you look at the rest of the QBs on the list here. I mean, Pat Mahomes, 99, that makes sense. Wilson, 87, as I mentioned before. Aaron Rodgers. Tom Brady, 90. I think he should be a little bit higher as the GOAT, but I understand he's 43 years old and he did not have his best season last year. Matt Ryan, former MVP, 87. As I mentioned, Watson, 86. Dak Prescott, 85. Carson Wentz, 84. Although there's still some geeks that will probably argue Nick Foles should be that. Yeah, Jimmy G, 83. I mentioned some of the other guys. Phil Philip Rivers, 82, I think is kind of generous considering how he looked last year. Uh, we'll, we'll see if he could resurrect his career under Frank Reich. And then as far as guys below, Colin Kaepernick here, as I mentioned, Derek Carr. I think that's about right. Baker Mayfield, 78. He didn't have a good season at all last year. Cam Newton. Joe Burrow's a rookie. I'm not going to argue that. Although in my franchise mode with Joe Burrow, he uh, became the MVP, which I, I feel like is unlikely. But whatever. It's Madden. Kyler Murray, 77. Although I think he could definitely make a leap. Josh Allen, 77, I think is about right. There's a lot of people touting his arm strength and everything else. I think he's a definitely a stud, but mm, he's still got a lot to prove. Jameis, Teddy Bridgewater. Fitzpatrick, 74. I've seen some arguments in favor of Fitzpatrick, but we've seen historically when he's on a team for more than one year, from year one to year two, he does fall off. So we'll see. I don't think he's going to be the lead rusher for the Dolphins this year, although shout out to him for lasting in the league as long. Darnold, 273 seems very low to me. For a top five pick who was one of the best college players, that seems very low. Daniel Jones, 72, also seems kind of low. I would have given him like a high, high 70s. Uh, Mitch Trubisky, some people would argue 72 is too high. Andy Dalton, uh, some would argue that 72 is too high. Jordan Love, I would argue 71 is even too high. Brissett, 71, I'd rate him a little bit higher. Nick Foles, 71. Justin Herbert, 70. Dwayne Haskins. Uh, Drew Locke, I would I would put Drew Locke higher than that. 70? I don't know. Gardner Minshew, same thing. I think he's being a little disrespected there. Tyrod Taylor, I would probably make him 70. And uh, there you go. And, and Jalen Hurts, 68. I know I know they're going by him being a rookie, but come on, man. Jalen, I think Jalen Hurts is starting quarterback material, but maybe that's just me. And some people would argue Josh Rosen's too high rated at 67 now that he's on the Bucks practice squad. But anyway, folks, Colin Kaepernick is back in the game. That's how he compares to the current active quarterbacks in the NFL right now, at least based on Madden. Will NFL teams finally sign this guy? Unfortunately... I hate to say it, I don't think they will because they've had four years, four freaking years to sign this dude, okay? They have freaking Josh McCown on a practice squad during a pandemic season making 12 grand a week, but you can't put Colin Kaepernick on a freaking practice squad. I don't want to hear the stupid narratives of, oh, he doesn't want to play or he doesn't want to do this or do that. That is complete, utter BS, folks, and I'm pretty sure I talk to more football people than you, so I'm telling you that's utter BS, and it's just, yeah. It's just ridiculous to me. It, it is utterly ridiculous to me and all these false narratives and just the fact that if you're going to have a social justice initiative, how do you not have Colin Kaepernick? And look, if no team wants to sign him, if they want to be ignorant and pretend to be woke and not sign the guy that started this whole movement, then fine. Okay, don't sign him. But if you're the NFL and you claim to be for social justice and you're still not signing Colin Kaepernick at least to some kind of advisory role to work with the know your rights camp when this man before he even got a bunch of celebrity endorsers when this man after being let go by the 49ers this man used his own freaking money a million dollar plus to fund various grassroots causes not these fake charities or not i don't want to say fake charities but these 
blank donations that these teams put out there or put out there over the years where you don't know where the money's going, where you don't know where the organization is. I've seen the Eagles be transparent. I've seen a few other teams be transparent. But more often than not, it's a bunch of these teams that just put out a statement that just say, hey, you know, we donated, you know, $30,000 to social justice or $100,000, and it's more or less a tax write-off, and there's no accountability whatsoever. If you look at Colin Kaepernick's history, he's donated to specific grassroots organizations and, again, with his own money prior to raising money and acquiring funds from other celebrity endorsers. And, look, whether you like him as a player or you don't, you got to respect him. And if you're somebody that has a problem with peaceful protesting, if you're somebody that has a problem with kneeling, if somebody has a problem with Colin Kaepernick raising money for social justice causes, for black causes, and you haven't even donated a cent to any black causes, black-owned businesses whatsoever, I need you to shut the hell up. I need you to get out of here. And please, please, find another channel for your football coverage because we ain't it for you. But for everybody else, Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this update, like, share, take care. Don't forget to subscribe. Please check out our honest, our brutally honest Madden 21 review because I have serious issues with the game beyond, of course, including my main man, Cap. And please feel free to enable notifications because we got plenty of updates coming your way. Chiefs, Texans, all kinds of Bucks coverage. You name it, we got it. Until next time, everybody, as always, enjoy the games and have fun playing as Cap.